All right, Roger. Staticast back. Yeah. It's been a, lo a long time. It's been a while. But uh, yeah, you guys are really, really uh, responsive on the on the uh, the last band made video that I did by myself reviewing the show and everything. So uh, a lot of interesting topics came up. So I wanted to get to them. We we'll figure we uh, just have an open forum. We could just discuss it. So first and foremost, uh, there was a little bit of a. Uh, People discussing this in the comments section of the last two Bammy videos we did. Mm -hmm. um, their gimmick. Okay. The homemade thing. We've touched on it before. Yeah. So I think we could further expand on it and then everybody can, you know, say what they got to say in the comments section too. That'd be fun. So uh, and keep it keep it civil. Don't make fun of each other. Just keep it about the topic. So, or whatever. Who cares? It's a fucking free forum. Do whatever you want. <laughs> but uh, don't be too crazy. But anyway, so. To straight to to bandmate for them first. Do you think that hinders them, or what do you think that does for them? I think it uh, the music drowns anything else else out. Right. It's it's not it's not a big part of their their. I mean it's it's a small tiny part of their stage presence. But yeah. It doesn't take or add anything to their show. They're still great musicians. They they you know their music speaks for itself. So yeah. The fact that they're dressed like ba uh, bandmates, I almost call it. Yeah, it's, <laughs> Mates, it doesn't really... I right. mean, uh, when uh, if remembering the history correctly, when Miku started the band, she was already working in a maid place. Okay. You know, after, uh, I, get, I think she was trying to do a J-pop thing and it didn't work out for her. So she decided to go the other route, you know, learn how to play guitar, start her own band, use that as a way to draw people in okay. and, uh, you know, go from there. Yeah. And really, like, from reading a lot of the of the the band's history she was she's probably the only one that was really really um like okay with that it seemed like she had to talk everybody into to getting into the outfits okay you know what i mean like uh then now that it works i think they've all said like i can't see myself doing it another way yeah. it's so, like slip not playing without their mask you know yeah. it, so it's, it's not gonna work so like i think uh, i think the reason is i think it's almost like uh how do i say it? You think it's like maybe because it, it makes them, is it too girly? Is it too Japanesey? Why people won't do that? I mean, other than the language right now, I'm just talking about the outfits. Okay. I, I think the outfits might be a bit of a, some people might look at them like, oh, a bunch of maids. Like if that's, a, like that's if, a little. Yeah. Like if I'm talking to a lot of our friends, mm -hmm. they're, and they, um. As soon as they see the bandmate outfit, they're like, ah, oh, the bandmate. And then talking to a lot of the, <laughs> the people, man, at, yeah. people at the shows and on the comment section is like, you know, they get really into the music and then they have uh, the video playing and their girlfriend or their wife is there and they're like, oh, you're watching a bunch of yeah, a bunch of Asian girls in a dance made up and dancing around and stuff. And it's like, no, no, it's there's more than that. Please listen. <laughs> there's you know? layers here. Yeah. So like, I <laughs> can yeah. like, like I got lucky. Like my girlfriend's just open to a lot of different stuff. So mm -hmm. she was just like, okay, like I know you, you're very picky about the music you listen to. So this has to be good. So once I started playing it around her, she's like, all right, I dig this. And once I told her, hey, we're going to the show, she's like, hell yeah, I'm, hell yeah, we're going to. She, like she was really, and she freaking, she ignored me the whole night. Yeah. Like she was just like mesmerized. Really she's like, oh it. my god. She's just like, they're amazing. She's like, oh my god, they're amazing. You you weren't lying. And she's like, yeah. She's as from a girl perspective, from her, she was telling me she goes, no, the the maid outfit almost brings me in because she she's a big anime fan yeah okay. so kind of everything ties in to her for her like the whole kawaii thing and so for a lot of girls they're like oh look how cute this is and then the music if you like heavier hard rock music you're like holy shit like you know so <laughs> my wife's the polar opposite oh <laughs> is this what you want is this what you want yes <laughs> <laughs> i yes. bought you one <laughs> put yeah. this on learn how to play guitar <laughs> <laughs> no um no yeah i got I, I was like wondering how she was going to take it and she was like no this is fucking awesome like this is good i i can see why you're you know you guys really dig music and, and everything else because like to us i don't think we've ever really passed the first video where we're like oh wow these chicks are hot like after that after first that, video we hardly ever brought that up again it was always like we love this girl because the way she plays bass. We love this girl because the way she plays drums, the it's guitar. It's about the instrument. Yeah. It's all, that's all it's been after that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so as far as, uh, what about language, though? Because that's also another big hot topic. Dude, so, it, like, it fucking resonated so well. When Mika was talking to the crowd, Yeah. no, everyone was mesmerized by how cute she was. Yeah. So, uh, language, whatever. Like, we, we talked about it before in videos in the past. It's like, the radio here is never going to play something like this. But through the you know the power of YouTube, like they're selling out places. They're okay. They're not arenas. They're not like baby metal type yet. Mm -hmm. But even baby metal started off at that kind of level too. Mm -hmm. And look at them now. Right now they're 
at the forum rocking out the whole freaking arena. It's sold out. You know what I mean? So, so look at that uh, K-pop. Uh, yeah, that's another and thing. K-pop is huge. If you're, and K-pop you're is like manufactured like... Like like BLT or whatever the hell they're BLT. <laughs> BKM. Bacon, lettuce, tomato. But yeah. <laughs> whatever the hell they're called. BTS. Yeah, right? sure. Yeah. They're fucking huge here. They're always trending. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what it is, man. I wonder if it's maybe... You think the... the I don't think it's just like a threatening thing. You can't be threatened by a bunch of cute Japanese girls. I think people are, are afraid to admit it. It's, it falls under the guilty pleasure until you really get to, sucked in. Yeah. And then it's like... Because there's nothing corny about it. No. Like, as far as the music goes, the music is fucking Some people are like, amazing. well, that's kind of weird, but holy shit, she can shred. Yeah. You know? Yeah, exactly. And then you put the outfit, whatever, past that. I think it's a test. It's 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 like a, it's such a weird pick and choose thing because mm. like, from talking to everybody, like Bandmate is a, is a nice established band in Japan, but they're not a household name. Yeah, you know what I mean. And like here, they're getting a nice like momentum rolling. Like the the videos I've seen from everybody from the, the shows here in the U.S. Mm -hmm. They have such like the dedication, the people singing along to songs. The songs are in Japanese. Yeah. And I found myself singing along to the parts, you know, I, I may not be saying it right, like mouthing it right, you know what I mean? But like, I, I'm remembering the words now and stuff, so I'm like singing along to it. And um, yeah, like a good song is always going to get stuck in somebody's head. And, and uh, like we always say, the cream rises to the top. So this new album is definitely going to be interesting for me because I want to see if they're going to stick to the route that they're in, which is like, we're going to make great songs. If you like it, cool. If you don't like it, whatever, like we're still going to do our thing. Or if they're going to try to kind of get that casual listener or the american bass like i really hope they don't start doing too many songs in english i love the fact that they sing mostly in japanese um i feel like they might because just to give it a shot they're still kind of in, on a on a regular label right they're not like on a major label yeah just think. to give it a shot and then get more <clears throat> years on their uh, music and and if you know you never know yeah it could, it could blow up so this album i'm deaf this is the album i'm waiting for the most like um definitely want to see how it is first single that came out i liked it hearing it live you guys were definitely right it's definitely a, a live song and uh yeah so that's that's just our little take on it um at the end of the day if you're a music lover you'll love this you'll appreciate it um yes there is a little bit of hurdles to get <laughs> other people to get into it but the music usually should just grab you and um like i said i hope more uh, more girls get into it because that was nice to see at the at the concert a lot of girls there be like yes yeah you guys need to, like, more females need to listen to this, like, hear it. It sounds great, you know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, just love it and get obsessed with it like the rest of us do, damn it. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> so, yeah, so hopefully, and that, that brings me to the next subject that I was going to talk on, um, piggybacking off of this. Just gimmicks and music in general. Like, uh, like you said earlier, Slipknot. Okay. Uh, fucking kiss. Kiss. Uh, gore. Gore. I've said that before. I think I said uh, Aquabats. Mushroom, Mushroom Head. Head. <clears throat> a lot of bands that have uh, these gimmicks uh, that's never hindered them. No, oh, that's that's improved. Like, why would it? Is it because it's a female band? I like, granted, so. in the in the rock community, you have a lot to go through as a female band to begin with. You know what I mean? I think people take it as look. Look what they're wearing. This is silly. Just to just to kind of get eyeballs, just to get the attention, you know. Mm -hmm. I think it's here in America where we're just, if you look scandally dressed like that, people kind of. And it's not even that scandally dressed. Any, yeah, but, but, but but I see what you mean though. But as a Japanese made thing has yeah. a has a tendency it's, it's, to lean normal, towards yeah. uh, sexualization of a yeah, of but, an Asian woman. But does. in the U.S., you you look at them and you're just like, what? It's just cute Asian girls in dresses. Like. And <laughs> and minimally. That's what we went like. That's what we went with. Yeah, mainly that's what we went with. And like I said, after that first video, or maybe the first two videos, we were done with the whole "Look how hot they are," and just like, man, I love this song. Man, I love. It. And then we got yeah, that bass. Like, you got you got to learn like about the members and all that stuff. It's the same thing with uh, when you look at a band and they all have each their own kind of set gimmick. Mm -hmm. And if you're a somebody who likes guitar, you start like, oh man, Ace Frehley's the fucking man. You start kind of identifying with him, yeah. Or you know, whatever. Uh, Corey from Slipknot, you love the way he sings. You get you know more uh, uh, geared towards what makes him tick and uh, as a writer and all that mm -hmm. stuff. So it's, like, you find your favorite member and go from there, and you learn about the band. So like, it maybe it has to do with the woman thing. I don't know, man. I hope not. Like, yeah, it's already an uphill battle. Yeah, they got a big hill to climb. Yeah, exactly. 
So, I mean, like, Baby Metal, they're great, but they have a a great band with them, too. You know what I mean? Like, an already great band. Great band, great production. Yeah. Great, um, the fan base is mm -hmm. fucking universal. Um, but, you know, they, they, they earn their stripes, I yeah. think. Baby Metal. Yeah. For, oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Then they, I don't think they had the easy route. No, know? not at all. Because they had to convince... That was the another, most fucking yeah. jaded uh, of fans. Metal fans. Metal fans are the most <laughs> jaded motherfuckers on the planet. They yeah. had to convince those people to be accepted. And the metal community embraced them. For the fucking, most part, yes. You know, band. You still have your detractors, yeah. Of course, but... You but know, once you get the cosigns of bands, you're yeah, right. Metallica was, like, flaunting over them. Rob Halford. They got fucking Rob Halford to sing with them. Dude. Yeah, Chili Peppers took them on tour. Yeah, dude, fuck. Yeah, so They're being, a, you know... I think, I think, I really think bandmates next and that thing and i think it's because of this mm -hmm. i think we're uh i think the reaction here the, the reaction, reaction community the people that are that's how we kind of spread the music and everything so i think that that helps out a lot i think next year the tour if they do decide to come back to the u.s which it sounds like because they just released an album so it sounds like they might i mean they're just you know i think maybe in their mid-20s or somewhere in their 20s so mm -hmm. they're they're they got strong legs on them so and, they can and, go everywhere around the world every year and we were meeting people that just came up to us and you know shook our hands and Thanks to you guys, I'm here. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. And I was like, oh, dude. I was just like, I was like. You know, yeah, exactly. Oh, I was, I was like an electric was... shock. Like, whoa, dude. Not, really? gonna, like, not gonna lie. Yeah, that's kind of takes, that kind of gave me kind of like a. Uh, yeah, I was just a little like, bit. Really? I was like, oh, wow, like, wow. Like, I, I was the bigger, I was happier than they were, you know? Yeah, saying. so yeah, that's then the fact that like, you know, just us from our little channel and then you got other reactors with huger uh, subscriber bases are doing it too. Like, yeah, they may not. They may have like thirty people. Like, you take thirty people to watch somebody who has a hundred thousand subscribers. Out of those thirty people, five or six people may really love it. Yeah. But then you know you you add that up. It Eventually, up, yeah. yeah, it adds up. So I think I think bandmates next, and at least that's what I'm hoping so. for. So, I yeah. So. so that's we're gonna, we're gonna keep pushing it because we really believe in this band and a lot of other bands too. So like, if we fall in love with the band, we're you're damn right we're gonna push it. We're gonna like, push hard, dude. They get a hard push here. <laughs> You get the seal of approval. Yeah, exactly. You get the push to the moon here. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so as far as gimmicks go, I love gimmicks. I love me a good gimmick. So, you know, me and you are both uh, pro wrestling fans. We love gimmicks. We love the like, gimmick. Yeah, and then if the music's even good, too, we're like, yes. Fucking double. Please. Like, fucking Alice Cooper's uh, Black Sabbath. Like, all this stuff that just kind of gives you, like, a, a, a character. You know what I mean? It's, it's It adds to it. Fucking King Diamond. You know, we're, I know we're just spinning out, like, a heavy metal bands here, but that's who kind of took to it the most yeah the People misfits are, is our favorite band the misfits the, it's our favorite the, the band. most gimmick band on, on the planet <laughs> and the most catchiest music yeah. like it's probably why we liked bandmates so damn much honestly yeah. it's like here's the gimmick here's the music it's too catchy to hate and yeah fuck you're right okay <laughs> yes yes i can love this absolutely love yeah it. so let us know what you guys think about gimmicks so gimmicks and rock and roll or just in general i think uh, i don't know about hip-hop they do it or i mean i guess their whole thing is gimmick really so, but that's another <laughs> discussion for another day. Yeah. Uh, here's one that somebody brought up. Concept albums. Yeah or nay, Roger? I love concept albums. All right. Um, um, I come from a, not a background, <clears throat> but I, I tend to listen to a lot of uh, progressive metal. Yes, he does. Power metal. Yes. And long. Their bread and butter is concept. Long songs. Um, droning, long albums. That's this guy right here. Yeah, I love concept I albums. I have a short attention span. I, I can't really get into uh, it much. They're, uh... uh a great band that did a concept album a few years ago was it's a band called Seventh Wonder. Mm -hmm. uh, they did a great concept album, and I was just for a whole year I was just uh, entranced by that album. And um, I think it's called Welcome to Mer uh, Mercy Falls. Mm -hmm. Such a great fucking album. See, I've only heard about concept albums. Mm -hmm. I've never sat there and heard one except. Um, I think it was you that told me that the King Diamond album was the word concept albums and I never realized it. Oh yeah, the, the vast majority. <laughs> I just I was just rocking out of King Diamond and I'm like, oh shit, there's themes in this? Like, and then I had to go back. Here, bro. <laughs> yeah, and then I had to go back and I'm like, oh shit, there is like yeah, so so uh, the reason I bring this up is because we're uh, we're big warning fans now and they yeah, have they're a concept album. And they're young as fuck. Young as fuck doing concept albums. How dare you? <laughs> That's what I would say. The audacity. The audacity of these talented young And they're ladies. doing it well because you could just take one of those songs out and um, just as a single mm -hmm. by itself, it stands by itself. And then you could also put it back in the puzzle. You know what I mean? That's that's so, wow, ahead of, you know, way ahead of where they should be right now. 
Like, you should be singing about boys, but instead you're singing about a, a queen who's gone crazy and uh, uh, kidnapped her lover and all this other crazy <laughs> shit. And we're like, yeah, yeah, we dig that. And the concept albums are so difficult to, to, to you know, create a... Yeah, and that's the, reason, <laughs> that's the reason I'm bringing it up, because concept albums are usually something a band does further down the like line. five or four or five albums in. Because even Kiss dropped concept albums. Yeah, oh, they split up and they each did one. Each well, each one did like their own like thing. Fucking Dream Theater drops on every other album. Right, like every Dream Theater album is a fucking concept. This album. last one sucked, but <laughs> that's so bad, dude. Yeah. So, but anyway, no, anyways, it's not. That's beside the point. But anyway, um, there can be good and bad concept albums. Yeah. You think you, you would you like to see more? Like yeah, definitely, like, definitely. Like like let's say Slipknot. Like okay, fine, fuck. Who from any band you listen to? Who would you that hasn't done it yet? Would love to see a concept album from. Themed oh, album. Oh shit, album. that's a good fucking question. So I don't think Slipknot has the patience. <laughs> the music is too. Every song is singular, so it's like a moment. It's like a moment. Yeah. Uh, you know, controlled chaos. Each song is each. Each song is its own chaos, story. Control yeah, yeah. chaos. He yeah. did a concept album with uh, with Stone Sour. Mm, so okay. so even you know, uh, but that's more more akin to to what we work with a concept. Mm. Uh, with Slipknot, it's you know this song is its theme. It's whatever. All control chaos into one song. You go on to the next one. It's like, mm. but uh, to have it progress uh, story wise. Uh, they don't seem like a band that, that seems interested in doing that. Mm. And if they are, then I'm but all for it. That's be, that'd be the one you'd go that'd with? The, Slipknot, uh, Slipknot concept album? A, a Slipknot counts are... Uh, if, 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 uh, fuck, if Dancing and, and Jerry could... Uh, Miss with concept album? If, oh, dude, it... it <laughs> I've been a fan for, like... Yeah, for our whole lives, pretty much. I've I, I fantasized about... First of all, you know, uh, Danzig and, and Jerry... This is back, patching you know, up. like patching things up. This yeah. was a dream of mine, since I, you know, since I was very young, and it happened. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, you know, all these things are happening. I wish they would come back and, and make an album together. Just, um, and to have that first album together back be a concept be album. Like a, that's ballsy. A concept album and and and, and adding elements to their music. That's that, that's that, yeah. that involved Danzig music, Danzig, mm. you know. Yeah, the darker tone and uh, and be uh, as punky as as the Misfits are. Wow, just that's... like a blunt. I don't know. I've thought about this a lot because that, that's like, a lot, dude. It's a, yeah, and that's I don't, a lot, and that's what I'm saying. I don't think I think have... Danzig could be down to do more of his version of a concept album. Uh, Jerry wouldn't be. Yeah, a, I don't know. More, yeah. Like I think. Well, I mean, Project 1950 was he tried to make something that was. Well, it's more of like a yeah a tribute to to the you know yeah like like a yeah to see. the music he grew up with. Who would I pick? Um, that was a really good fucking question. Here's two I would go. I would go with uh, Slayer. I would love to see a Slayer concept album. I mean, I know the video trilogy it's as close to it as we're probably gonna get. Okay. But I would love to see like a whole album from beginning to end just deal with something. Um, and uh, on the hip hop side, I would love to see a Wu Tang concept album. Where they just talk about, I know they're doing their TV show right now, but yeah, I would rather have an, I'd rather have an album explaining the... their history through like a kung fu theme, oh, fuck. old school kung fu theme from beginning to end, like the beginning of the career to where they're at now. It's just like one giant story, like two album, because they already did a two album, and it wasn't very good. Mm -hmm. I mean, I liked it, but it w I didn't love it. But I would love to see just as a hip hop thing. I like, come on, like who does that? I think they they have nine guys in the fucking uh, thing, you know? That's mm -hmm. nine songs where if you split them up and everybody gets their own song. Yeah. So that would be, uh, I don't know, I just think that'd be fun. Like that, like almost like listening to something audio tape and it's a movie playing, you know what I mean? You're just like old school listening to the radio, yeah. a broadcast of a story or something like that. I think that'd be, uh, that'd be one definitely one hip hop group that I would love to see that with. And um, what I admire about going back to the, the structure of a concept album, mm -hmm is the fact that you have to incorporate a, your, a, 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 an original story and then incorporate your personal feelings towards, you know, said subject and then putting like music writing, behind that It's like writing story. a book. So the fact that, that bands can pull off a concept album alone is, is looking mind-boggling to me. Yeah. Because it just seems so fucking difficult. <laughs> Seriously, I, but, I don't know who... The Patients... Fucking, to anybody who has fucking that Seventh Wonder wrote a 30 minute song about uh, people leaving Earth <laughs> and being stuck on a fucking uh, mothership uh, floating through space. Yeah, fucking, like I said, Seventh Wonder? Yeah. yeah. A whole 30 minute song just fucking 
like talking about Earth being destroyed and and people we, having to leave. So. I was talking about this with my girlfriend one night, and she was like, "I don't think you'd like the Tool album." Mm -hmm. Like that one song alone is like, how long was it? Ten minutes or something like that. The first, uh, the fir uh, uh, Fear Inoculum. Fear Inoculum is fifteen and minutes. She, uh, she's like, I don't know if you're gonna like that because I know you don't have the patience for that. Mm -hmm. And she's like, have you, do you even like any songs that are past like two, three minutes long? <laughs> and I sit there and actually think about. It, I was like, yes, there is one. A while back, No Effects, because I'm coming from mostly a punk rock background. Yeah. No Effects dropped this, an album. It wasn't even an album. It wasn't even an EP. It was one song, 17 minutes long. Mm -hmm. It was called The Decline. It had a beginning, middle, and an end from a guy who came back from a war and had been dealing with all that. Yeah. And that song is still one of my favorites of all time. I know every fucking word to that song, beginning to end. It's still one of my favorite songs of all time. If you've never heard it before, even if you're not a fan of, of the band or the music, mm -hmm. check out The Decline by No Effects. 17 minutes long. It tells a great story. I love it. Like, I think it's great. Uh, so, I'm like, yeah, that's probably the only one that's because it's one of my favorite bands doing it. So, yeah. Yeah. So, what do you guys think about Cost of Albums? Cost of Albums, yay or nay? And if, who would you like that hasn't done it yet to come out with a Cost of Album? Let us know in the comment section. That should be fun. Yeah. <laughs> There's somebody that I never even think of. I was like, oh, I want a Ramones concert album. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad they're all gone. Oh, yeah. Uh, all right. So let's uh, discuss. It's been, it's a big week for uh, Baby Metal and their fans. Mm -hmm. uh, the album just dropped today. Uh, you already bought it. And we actually kind of briefly touched on it. The Their rise. Um, I've been seeing a lot of coverage on them all positive which is a difference from years ago from every time you see it like people were trashing it or there are people that are like this is fun you like it and other people are like this is cheesy i don't like it yeah um everything that i've been reading from metal sites and music sites everything's been positive yeah it's got a 9.5 on one of the reviews i wish i remember which one it's from but we got a 9.5 on one of the reviews uh shit like i've only listened to a little bit of it okay it's it's uh, what do you think about their rise from the, the first time we saw them when you brought them over because you guys got to check this out okay and we saw it and we were just kind of flabbergasted and we we're like i don't hate it i don't know if this is a gimmick and if it's going to last very long i don't want to get attached to it if it's going to go away after an album you know what i mean especially in, ja in japan where everything's so disposable so easily mm -hmm. and it's stuck around so what are your thoughts from then to now I think they're more, they, they have more of a grasp on what they want to do now. Mm -hmm. When they first started, they were just kind of throwing con concepts and different, uh, they were going, you know, they were, like they were all group. over the place. It was yeah. a kids group, very right? so kids music. They matured a lot with this album. Yeah. Um, they, they, they've slowed it down a little bit. Uh, Sue's voice in this album is, is pretty... Which I think just give me a review screw it let's go let's okay. go album review let's, so, uh, a nice quick album review so it's not as crazy as their past albums mm -hmm. it's more uh, i like the structure mm -hmm. because uh every song just kind of flows into each other pretty nicely uh it goes from a great like so, you know from a song like like i forget the name but it's a uh, it's kind of, sort of like a piracy kind of a yeah, I was just envisioning Sue and then the gang just on a pirate ship with a, with this hint, hint, video. Yeah, <laughs> please, mate. Uh, and I was just having fun with that song. Um, other songs, they just they felt really personal to Sue. Mm. Like she was pouring her heart out to, to to I don't know what the concept of the, of the song was, but on some songs she just it sounds like she's pouring her heart out, mm. and I really dug that. Um, the, you, you think she got to play around with her, uh, with this her was, vocal this time instead yes. of like telling her like sing it this way? Like they kind of let her. Like, they let her. What are you feeling? Like they, they, they I felt like the song. They, they kind of just let her do her thing, and she really shines. Uh, as for Mo, 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 Mo mm, the backing vocals, I, I didn't really feel they were strong in this album. Mm. So this was this is completely the Sue. Mo, uh, your, your prediction is coming true. So, Hashtag Blaine Rodgers. I, I feel like this album was, was just pushing her, to, pushing her to the forefront of, of, of this uh, band. And, you know, like... <laughs> as much as you hate to as say As much as I hate to say it, she, she, she outshined in this album. And, well, it's hard and, to do it when you when you went, you went had your two backing vocals being such an integral part mm -hmm. of your chemistry. You take one away... And you expect the other one to kind of fill in both parts. It's a little bit tough. Like I, I do not, you know, I don't, 
I don't blame them for shying away. Yeah. And kind of not burying it, but kind of like not making it as prevalent as they would. Yeah. To other stuff. So, uh, I get it. It 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 does. I don't know. I mean, from the songs I've heard, I like I told you from the beginning, I've been I wanted to listen to Distortion. Mm-hmm. I listened to it. I was like, hell yeah, this is it's even better than because I'm. I yeah. think I was the only one that liked it when yeah. it first came out. It really grew like, on you. Uh, yeah, I was like, I like the song. I was like, dude, the chorus is catchy as fuck. Like I I I really like the song. And then the newer one with uh, mm-hmm. was it Alyssa from uh, Otep Opet whatever. No no no, Arch Enemy. Arch Enemy. Yeah, sorry, don't hit me. Um. I thought it was fucking great. Like this this version from the album, that and Arcadia was fucking awesome too. What I loved is that the the as soon as those songs came on, I was like, oh shit, you know, it's like a familiar like, oh hey buddy, I remember you. It was very comforting. Very comfort. Yeah, it's like a it's comfort food. food. Yes. Yeah, it, the whole album just flowed really nice. And uh, also like with past baby metal albums, I was just kind of like, this is great, but I don't know, it's just. I still have to ki- yeah. listen to the whole thing before I same, decide. Same, same. This is my initial thoughts on it. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's just the excitement is, mm-hmm. you know, I love like the yeah. shows today, all this stuff today. Brian Jones. Brian Jones. You're the man. Well, I'll the put man, the picture right here. Hell yeah. Representing at the at the uh, Baby Metal concert at the Forum. If you're there, you lucky son of a bitch. Are you a beer, brother? We owe you a One beer. One day, man. We owe you a <laughs> beer. So, uh, yeah, as far as the, the album goes... Um, I gotta listen to the rest of it. I probably should have done that before I done the, before and, 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 do the podcast. And I hope it's really not just that. it's the excitement of, of a new baby metal album, and it, they they call it you know honeymoon if, phase. But but if you like it right away, that's a good thing. It's a good thing. A good you, thing more yeah. than likely, you're gonna end up loving yeah. it in a, a little bit longer. Like I said, Arcadia stuck out to me. Like as soon as it started, I was like, holy shit! Mm-hmm. Like it took me back to that second album a little bit. Um, love distortion, like I said. Starlight is nice. It's a, it's a, it's a, that one's growing on me. Mm-hmm. I didn't love it uh, initially. Uh, we just did Shanty Shanty for the reaction. We like that song and the different tempo and the different uh, sound that it took on. So I'm still familiarizing myself with the names, but and Papa Ya is just a fucking banger. Oh my God, it's like probably the standout track still. I'm just mm-hmm. like, for now, we'll yeah. see. We'll see how everybody catches on to that one. Uh, that other one you mentioned, I gotta that I haven't got. Oh man, G9. That's that's a pirate theme song. Oh my G9. Oh my G9. Okay. So that that uh, as soon as that song came out, I was like, I was All loving right. it. <laughs> so it's, we get it so, so out of the. Uh, Five star Rogers five star review. What is well, it's, it? Since it's like an initial, an initial initial listen. Um, I, upon my initial listen, uh, I love the way it flowed. I love the the songs. Just uh, yeah, they 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 flowed right into in, into the next song quite nicely. Sue's voice, ah, thing of beauty. Yeah. Um, she's she's gonna be huge, man. Uh, this is not Stop like it. this is not like a you know, no Frank. She's gonna be. <laughs> Humongous, it. Fuck what everybody thinks now. <laughs> I, I stand this by it. forward. Her voice is, it, it, she's too good. Yeah, she's too good. Uh, and it, I'll give it a, a four out of five. Nice. Mm-hmm. Four out of five. That's pretty good. I got So far, what I've listened to, I've loved. Uh, I can't give a, a full review on it yet, but I've loved so far everything I've listened to. So um, that's good because we're kind of like going back and forth, like, oh, we don't know how it's going to sound like. It's not the three of them anymore. These songs that are coming out so far aren't exactly what we're used to. Mm-hmm. But we waited before we completely they jumped. They shut out. us up, so, yeah. So that's <laughs> that's good. So those, well, if you guys listened to it, I'm sure you guys all did. Uh, let us know what your favorite track is. Number one, what do you think of the whole album? What you took away from it, and uh, what do you expect in the future? And uh, tell Roger to stop cursing our uh, baby metal and leave him alone. God damn it! Yeah, <laughs> right. want the best for them. All right. Uh, so the last one we're gonna do real quick. This is by uh, our buddy Jay Dizzle. He wants to know what you thought about the Joker movie. I haven't watched it yet. Ooh. Another thing I haven't got to yet. So, uh, Joker movie. So, Roger. What say you, Roger? Okay, so let me go a little in debt as why it impacted me okay. the way it did. So, we have I have a family member who is dealing with uh, mental issues, uh, having medication, um, you know, hears voices, uh, you know, all mm-hmm. that stuff. So. Um, the f- the stuff he was going through, Arthur in the movie Joaquin, mm-hmm. it really just, god damn, dude, it, it, like it resonated from, from the from the get go. I was just like, you know, I was like, there were a few times where I was just like welling up. I'm like, fuck, and it just hit. And um, but uh, Joaquin's acting in this movie is, well, it this... puts it puts him on the next 
on, on our next level because he's one of the best actors in this generation. Holy that's shit! For sure, if you didn't know before, now you know. Yeah. Joaquin is is a powerhouse. And this performance is is you you forget that it's Joaquin. He and he he transforms into Arthur. He is the Joker, you know, in this movie. Um, I love the fact that they 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 the laugh was part of his mental illness. Uh, mm. it, it's it's more of a nervous tick than a cynical laugh. Um, there's a scene where uh, we've seen it in the in the trailers where okay. he's he's making the little kid laugh. And, oh yeah, in the bus. And then his mom, the kid's mom's like, leave, leave my kid alone. And then. He gets so embarrassed that he that he starts laughing and you know oh. he's trying to stop from laughing and it hurts him. He's like, Argh. that's how he that's how he deals with it. Yeah, so he hands her a card like, I'm not laughing because of this. But, yeah, I'm not. But laughing. it's a medical condition and that like broke my heart. I'm like, oh, I felt so bad. They want you to sympathize with them, which is which is brilliant, but at the same time you 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 gotta think for yourself if you because he he does some some, some shit that that's kind of yeah. It, it questions. He's a bad guy. It questions. He's the Joker. He's the Joker. It he's questions your your your. It, wa- it forces you to question your your your. What's the word? Your, What's your morals? Your morals. It forces you to or question. Where your moral compass is. Yeah, it puts the mirror in front of your your face. It just like. Because it's it's almost like I hate to bring up like yeah, current stuff because I always said no problem mm-hmm. and shit, but like when they try to when somebody shoots up something mm-hmm. and then they try to tell you like oh he was just a kid who was picked on and blah when they try to spin the narrative to kind of make you understand but it's like at the end of the day you know what i mean he did bad stuff he did bad stuff yeah but that's it's also like kind of the genius of the movie i would think right mm-hmm. it forces you to kind of look at this it's a real issue in a fictional story okay the the issue is still real right yeah so it's, a, it's raw it's it's you can't hide from it you're sitting in the theater and you're watching it you can yeah. either run away yeah ignore it or you can fucking sit there and actually think about like oh shit like i'm i'm feeling sorry for this guy but he's doing bad stuff I don't know how to feel. It's like, well, maybe that's the the rest. Of, instead of jumping into stuff the way people do, like, no, he's guilty. No, he's not guilty. Yeah. Like, you gotta actually sit there and kind of like, okay. Because it, because it's a process. It's it's the society that 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 slowly you know festers his way of thinking. Mm. It's society that kind of turns their back on him, and he feels more isolated. Mm. As you know, his family, his his mother, uh, every stuff that he learns throughout the movie mm-hmm. it's just you 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 feel the impact and like you watch the unraveling from yeah you, mm-hmm. you understand but at the same time you're like well this is wrong and then you have to think for yourself you got to think well i gotta stop being you know mm-hmm. me 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 yelling at that guy in the middle of the street what if you're the you're the one that that, that just you makes know, him snap makes him snap yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, I i took i took the message of the movie being as Let's just be nice to each other. Like you never know. Yeah, because yeah. you never know. Maybe all these, you know. And society turns you into that sometimes. Like it's, you said, like little media. stuff. It's the media. It's 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 right now how we're all divided. Yeah. So one person's telling us one thing, and then another person's telling, and then that that builds anger. You know, we we are all essentially. And then you mix you mix that with just life's daily mm-hmm. crap. It's like, you know, you snap, you snap at the first person that crosses mm-hmm. you the wrong way, the first person that looks at you wrong, somebody cuts you off, somebody runs in front of you while you're driving, ah, yeah. you know, somebody makes you mad at work, that kind of stuff, yeah. Right. So, it, 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 it definitely looks like it brings, like, a definitely raw human emotion, you know, it, it, like I said, it makes you deal with that, like, kind of maybe also looking back at yourself, so. It's uncomfortable because it's, it, it felt real, mm. and people don't like that. Yeah. Um, like I saw, all I saw was the trailers. Um, I have a buddy at my job that saw it mm-hmm. and kind of didn't want to spoil it for me. But I told him I was like, from the trailer, what I saw, I saw. Uh, I know a lot of people saw a lot of Taxi Driver in it. I saw a little mm-hmm. bit, but I saw more King of Comedy. King of so, Comedy. So for I, sure. I asked him about the ending. I was like, all right, don't tell me the ending, but you know, I asked him a question about it, and then he's like, kind of. I'm like, okay, I kind of figured that from okay. the. It's got so much similarity to King of Comedy, and remembering how that ended, mm-hmm. it's you know, and then this ending too, kind of. He didn't tell me exactly mm. what happened, but I was like, okay, I can, I can kind of figure it out. I'm still gonna go watch it regardless. So uh, the imp- dude, the, the 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 impact of that scene, mm-hmm. even I was like, I I legit went like, whoa! Yeah. It put it, that theater was so fucking quiet after that. We were just processing what just happened, and then and then after that, just there's this somber the the, the score of this movie. Mm-hmm. It puts you in the. It, it take it. 
I love music that, that takes you with it, you know? It, yeah. It holds your hand and it brings you, it forces you to this, to this. Uh, so overall, this movie is like a whole, like, emotional roller coaster. Dude, it, it's, 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 it's an experience. I, I, I haven't felt this way about a movie in, in years. It's, it's, is, besides it being a Joker movie, Origins, Origins, mm -hmm. if it, if it, if it was on its own, this, movie of some guy just dressing up as a clown and, and yeah. snapping and even that concept alone would, would, would garner this as, as a as a masterpiece for me because i, th I think it's my one of my all-time favorite movies like yeah. easily I, I i haven't felt this way about a movie it's st it stayed with me for a few days mm. it stuck with me i was just processing the movie all so, right there you go gets the Rod Schiller approval so i love them and hopefully yeah. that answered your questions so uh Thank you guys for the questions. Thank you guys for listening to this. Uh, this is fun. This was very fun. Uh, give us more questions for the next one. Uh, put them down there and uh, we'll pick out a, or send us a video link that you guys want us to see to something that you want us to show on the show, like a funny video, a trailer, anything like that. Uh, any movie questions. We love, we watch a lot of movies too, as long, mm -hmm. as, long as the, along with music. So uh, like I said, put your questions for the next podcast down there. And uh, if you guys want to hear our thoughts about a certain subject, like either question or a topic, put it down there and we will get to it for sure. Thank you for the ones that did send it. And uh, thank you guys for always watching us and supporting the channel. Don't forget to check out the merch, Teespring Shop. Don't forget to follow the Instagrams, the Twitters. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Roger? Have a good night, guys. I do. I do. See you later. <laughs> I think they're going to stay together forever. Bay Metal Rocks. I think so too. You know what? <laughs> I think you're right. I changed my mind. <laughs>